Good morning everyone. It's nice and early. We're going to I don't know how to say this. Nourish Nurse Feinstein Castle. <laughs> Something like that. It's a castle that starts with the letter N. And it's supposedly the inspiration for Walt Disney's Sleeping Beauty Castle, which is like the main one that you see on all the all the Disney stuff. And it's like a two hour train ride away. We're walking to the subway now to get to the main train station. And we're hoping we can get tickets inside the castle because we couldn't book them online. Because you have to do it like at least two days in advance, I think. Anyways, I'm really excited and it's what got me up this morning. Because <laughs> the alarm went off early. Now, to get to Neuschweinstein Castle from Munich, you have to take a train to a town called Fussen. And from there, there is, I think it's a five kilometer bus ride. Um, and then you have to walk or take another bus up to the castle. For us, we're using the uh, U-Rail passes because um, the train's run by DB and that, our passes work on that. Um, we were looking to this thing called a, I think it's a, a Bavarian. Bavarian pass or I think it's also called a Bayern ticket. I think there's a couple of ways, a couple of things. Um, basically that allows you for a full day to use the trains and any sort of like buses and, and, the metro. and the metro in Munich and in the surrounding Bavarian region. Unlimited trips, cost 25 euro for one person, it was like an additional 6 euro for each person you add on to it. So it definitely got good value if you didn't have a Eurail pass. The bulk of our trips covered by our Eurail. But if you want to go today yourself, maybe you should check out this um, Bavarian pass. It's Max Weber Platz again. I feel like we've been here about 10 times in the last two days. So we're really pushing it to make this train. Um, there is other trains. There's one at like 9.50. We're trying to catch a 9.40, but it's not express and it takes longer. And the next express is in two hours. And we're trying to find a platform and hoping it's the right train and some of these cars are burning. Why is the platform so far away? <laughs> and the platform's like literally on the other side of the station and whew, it's all going against us. But we're getting to the castle. Oh, we made it. It's two minutes to spare. Here we are. We made it to Fusen. Check out the view. Look at all those mountains. Getting on a bus. I'm assuming these are all castle buses. This is castles up there. How much is it? Let's see it. Let's see how far we come now? Yeah. Alright, we're seeing it. We can go now. Uh, let's go try to find some tickets or something. Hopefully there's tickets available for it. Bavarian or German, it means New Swanstone Castle. New Swanstone Castle. What's that meant to mean? It's a 19th century Romanesque revival palace. The palace was commissioned by Ludwig II of Bavaria as a retreat and in honour of Richard Wagner. And he funded it all by himself. Okay, so our decision is just to go up and get a view of the castle. There is a tour, we could have done it before. It's currently midday. That's four hours away and we could have done it and made it back to like, like our train yeah, at six. I think we'll find the bus to get up there. Could walk it, but I kind of want to see a few more things, so it might save some time. Or apparently you could take a horse and carriage up and be like a real princess or something. Finding on the bus though. <laughs> this bus is three euro each to get up. Yeah. Took a while though. I can't turn my head that far. I can only see exactly this. This is exactly what I see. The side of Sally's face and some trees. I think we follow that one up to get to the bridge. That way to the castle. No drones. So when we get those awesome photos of the castle, you gotta remember it's actually not that awesome around here. The scenery is amazing, but all you're doing is like walking through large groups of people. Um, yeah, that's the bridge we've got to get to to get a photo. And it's just like, it's packed. I'm hoping it supports that many people. We'll call this segment, The Realities of Travel. All those beautiful shots you see around the world. If you turn the camera around, you'll see this. Have a look at the view over here. Wow. I'll look to my left in a sec. I want to show this first. I do not like setting on this. My fear of heights is kicking in. <laughs> Got our view though. Wow. 
That is freaking awesome. That was worth coming up for. It's spectacular. It's a long way down. I'm gonna try to go up there now, I think. Oh, I hate this bridge. I hate this bridge. The planks move. So this part's really cool. Doing like a little forest walk to get up to the viewing point. You meet most of the crowds of tourists here. There's some people come, but not as many. People just get to the bridge and take their photo, I think. Yeah, that was worth the climb. Looks really cool from up here. You happy you saw it? Favorite thing you've seen? Maybe. It was commissioned by Ludwig II of Bavaria in like the 1870s, late 1870s. And he kept trying to expand and he ran out of money and yeah, that's why it was never really finished. And he only ended up spending 11 nights here. But despite its size, there's only enough room for him and his servants. Fun fact, in World War II, it nearly got blown up by the Nazis because I think they used it as like a headquarters type thing and they had a bunch of like important artworks or whatever and they were going to blow it up, but I believe the, the guys were meant to do it. They never ended up getting plans for it, and that's why they didn't get destroyed. Okay, back down to Fusen. So we're in Fusen now. Bus just dropped us off near the station. I think we've got about an hour and a half for our train. Number one priority, find something to eat. Food. Yeah, we're really hungry. I've got food in a bowl of cereal. And a pretzel. Half a pretzel each. So yeah, food's number one priority. This is this main little street area of Fusen. When I was looking up at a photo of Fusen, this is the street that it showed. It was obviously a lot less busy. I don't, don't know how they got it when there was no one here. Professional photographer, I guess. Side note, that guy is the most green jumper I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> There's a beer souvenir place, but it's closed, and I really want to go in there. It's beer souvenir. Look at all the cool beers in there. It's closed. Oh no. Oh, well, that's lunch. Some sort of spinach pretzel thing. Oh and strudel. <laughs> okay, I'll take some. Alright, we're at Max Weber Platz again. It's where we started. And it's where we'll end the vlog, I think. What a fitting place to end it. A place we've been to about six times in the last two days. Anyway, from Max Weber Platz, we'll see you guys tomorrow when we explore Munich.